The River Report. News for the members, by the members. When Hidden River opened six years ago, we knew that starting a media unit and producing a weekly broadcast was something that we wanted to do, but the task seemed pretty overwhelming. We had so much to do with starting a new clubhouse. We had to send staff and members to training, we had to develop our units, we needed to find TEs, and we had to um, move the furniture around a dozen times, oh, we had to choose what karaoke discs we wanted to order for our social nights all very, very important top priority stuff. We couldn't possibly devote the amount of time needed to develop a media unit. Especially because it has to be perfect right out of the gate. We're all about type A overachievers here. If it's not perfect, it's not worth doing, right? But we did do it, and we're going to tell you how we got from being super, super scared to broadcasting producing geniuses. <laughs> Let us first tell you a little bit about who we are. Hidden River Clubhouse is located in Schuylkill County, Pennsylvania. Once a booming center of the anthracite coal industry, Schuylkill County has fallen on hard times. We are a large rural county with rates of poverty and unemployment higher than the national average. Hidden River Clubhouse is located in Pottsville, the county seat. We are relatively new to the Needless to say, members were very scared and reluctant to use computers in their daily lives. But we had to get over that hurdle somehow. In today's 21st century world, members have to be comfortable with using computers to help access services and broaden their knowledge. So in the spring of 2013, we made it our goal to help everyone get more comfortable using technology. Due to insurance requirements, members had to complete a daily progress note in the clubhouse's electronic health record. Hidden River staff and members sat side by side every day and completed progress notes together. Slowly, the staff would reduce their support and members began to complete progress notes every day on the computers by themselves. Over time, members became less intimidated and were introduced to email, internet searches, and Facebook. But it's a large leap from completing a daily form on the computer to producing a weekly broadcast. So here's a list of the equipment that Hidden River uses. As we stated before, Hidden River is not rich by any means. We have a small ADA, therefore we also have a relatively small operating budget. We can't afford professional cameras and editing equipment, nor can we afford formal classes to teach members and staff how to produce professional looking videos. So we make do, and we're able to produce impressive broadcasts each week, as well as produce marketing material for the clubhouse. So here's what we use. Hidden River uses an iMac computer and a basic camcorder. With most computers, you have the ability to burn your movies to a DVD and play them in a basic DVD player. At Hidden River, we're slightly more advanced, broadcasting our weekly videos over a Wi-Fi connection using an Apple TV, an idea that we stole from Genesis Club in Worcester. Thank you guys. This allows us to broadcast on many TVs at once and also eliminates the cost of buying DVD discs. However, you can just buy one rewritable DVD disc and erase and record on the same disc many, many times. iMovie is the software application that we use for editing and it typically comes installed already on most Mac computers. I should also mention that if you don't use a Mac computer, Movie Maker is also a very user-friendly application that comes with most Windows computers, so you don't need a Mac if you're not used to using them. You can also choose to have your anchors simply read your script from sheets of paper, or you can get all fancy and use a teleprompter. It's not as hard as you think. Easy Prompter is a free website where you simply type in your script and the website turns it into a professional looking script that your anchors can read from. There are many different setups that will work when using the teleprompter option. All you need to do is position the computer screen showing the script somewhere very close to the camera lens. 
Typically, positioning the camera either above or directly below the prompter screen gives the most realistic effect, making it look as if the anchors are looking directly into the camera and not reading from papers. You might have noticed that the last piece of equipment that we had listed was a green screen. The screen is in quotations because you really don't need a screen. In fact, you can use just a large piece of green fabric or even just paint your wall green. This will allow you to put backgrounds behind the news anchors on the screen, such as a weather map or pictures of your top stories. That's everything you need to produce a weekly video broadcast. The weekly video is a great way to start your clubhouse day. We show ours each morning at our meeting so that it reaches as many members as possible. Here's a list of segments for each video. First, we'll start every video with a warm welcoming. We'll cover clubhouse news and process changes around our clubhouse. For the employment spotlight, we'll highlight one of our members in a TE, SC, or independent employment position. We'll cover upcoming socials for a month, and we'll also cover previous socials that we just had. Announcements and achievements is a section of the video where a member or a staff has the opportunity to explain anything they'd like to the clubhouse. We cover the menu Monday through Friday. Every Friday we have a chef of the week where a member chooses a special recipe that they'd like to make themselves. We cover a different standard every video and we try to explain the standard a little bit more in a skit. We also cover Clubhouse International news from around the world. We'll announce upcoming deadlines for any special projects we have coming around the clubhouse. We'll cover current events going on either around our town, around the county, around the state, around the country, or even around the world. Each week we will film commercials for our Snack Shack and Thrift Store. For the Snack Shack we'll cover an item that's on sale for the week, and for the Thrift Store we'll cover an article of clothing that might be on sale that week. We begin our process every week with a creative video meeting each Friday morning. Here we plan our video for the following week. Members can choose themes for the broadcast, they can choose stories that they would like to feature or music that they would like to include in the video. Then the actual work begins on Monday. Our administration unit has broken down the making of our weekly video into smaller manageable pieces so that it creates a lot of work for the unit and also makes the work less intimidating because it is done in small pieces. Typically the morning tasks include filming segments and the afternoons are spent editing the videos shot in the morning. This is all laid out in a checklist that the members follow so that they know which segments to shoot. Hidden River has staff and members with basic computer knowledge, but learning how to upload and edit video to produce a weekly newscast was new to us. The answer is... YouTube. We searched YouTube for how-to videos and found it extremely easy to find what we needed. It made learning how to use the iMovie app way easier and helped members feel less intimidated because they were learning at the same time as staff. Another way to help members feel more comfortable is also one of our favorite segments of our weekly video, the blooper reel. Let's face it, no matter how eloquently you speak, no one likes being on camera, but bloopers help with that. Members are able to see a behind the scenes look of staff messing up, members and staff clowning around, and just generally having fun with the process. They're also able to see the power of editing, how you cannot be perfect and stumble on your words and it'll all be okay. We would like to show you an example of a video that we made in our clubhouse. This is a virtual tour video that we created and posted on our Facebook page to introduce our clubhouse to potential members and providers that may not be able to physically come to the clubhouse for a formal tour. This video was produced entirely by members and staff, and we are very proud of it. So enjoy!
House meeting, we discussed many interesting topics. Let's go to our members via satellite to tell us more. Hi, everybody. This is me, Rossi, and this is live from the meeting area.